White House slams Comer, accuses GOP of conducting, evidence-free, probe into Biden family. Republicans to hold press conference today to give update on Biden family probe. The White House is accusing House Oversight and Accountability Committee Chairman James Comer of leading an, evidence-free, politically motivated, investigation into the Biden family just as Comer is set to provide an update on his investigation. Comer, RKY, was planning a press conference for Wednesday at 9 a.m. to describe the latest details of his committee's probe of the Biden family's foreign business dealings. In a memo provided to Fox News Digital by the White House, spokesperson Ian Sams wrote that Comer's absurd innuendo ignores reality. House Oversight Committee Chairman James Comer is loudly and proudly broadcasting a press conference today to continue his long pattern of making absurd claims that President Biden has made governing decisions not in the interest of America, but of the Chinese Communist Party, using baseless claims, personal attacks, and innuendo to try to score political points, Sams wrote in the White House memo. Comer has said his committee has information suggesting that 10 or 12 Biden family members were involved in efforts to launder or hide revenue from communist China and other countries around the world. Comer also said Biden was providing something in return. But Sams argued that the timing of Comer's press conference is a sign Republicans are running a disjointed investigation into the business dealings of President Biden's son, Hunter Biden. Oddly, he has been promising, then failing to deliver, this press conference for weeks, raising questions about his shoot-first, figure-it-out-later approach to what is clearly an evidence-free, politically motivated, investigation, Sams wrote. Sams said it's House Republicans who should be blamed for boosting China because of their opposition to legislation that passed last year to direct federal spending to the development of semiconductor plants in the United States. Sam said House GOP lawmakers have taken positions that benefit the PRC and its leaders and work to erode America's ability to compete with China. Sam's also claimed House Republicans opposed other elements of Biden's agenda and supported tax policies that benefit China. That includes the debt ceiling fight, in which Sam's accused Republicans of undermining Biden's efforts to keep the U.S. economy competitive with China. Instead of floating evidence-free innuendo, and making absurd attacks on the president and his family to try to score political points, Chairman Comer and House Oversight Republicans should answer the question, why have you repeatedly sided with PRC interests over American workers and the American economy, instead of joining President Biden to put in place a strong agenda to create more American jobs and make us more competitive with China? Sams wrote. The White House memo was released just hours before Comer and Republicans on the House Oversight Committee were set to release their own memo that details the Biden family's overseas business transactions. Comer has said the GOP memo will name the countries where the Biden family had been doing business and the family members involved in what he calls an influence peddling scheme. Last week, Comer and Sen. Chuck Grassley, R. Iowa, said a whistleblower is alleging that the FBI and the Justice Department are in possession of a document that describes a criminal scheme involving then-Vice President Joe Biden and a foreign national relating to the exchange of money for policy decisions. The White House has maintained that the president never spoke to his son about his business dealings and has continued to say that the president was never involved in them. Comer's committee has been investigating Hunter Biden's foreign business dealings, how the Biden family has been involved, and whether President Biden has been involved in those foreign business dealings. Comer has warned that the business ventures with individuals in China, Ukraine and more pose a national security risk.